Okay, everybody, let's talk about free prints. So for those of you who don't know, FreePrints is an iOS application where you can download it and order prints of photos. The main premise is that you get 85 free 4x6 prints every month and all you have to do is pay for shipping. It's a great service. I've used it several times to decorate my dorm rooms in college and my apartment now. It's a great service but uh, I think their iOS application could be better. So here's what it looks like when you open FreePrints. Uh, they have a homepage that essentially shows like an advertisement for lack of a better word and tap to get started so you can order photos just from there. The begin also takes you to the same flow so it seems a bit repetitive to me. That bothers me a lot and there's not a lot of information here. Like I, I get that they want you to go straight into ordering photos but look when you take a look at their side menu, there's a lot more stuff that they offer. Like they have a section for for my deals or you can see all of their promotions. They have other applications that they have different services for like photo books and photo tiles that they're advertising. You have your account information, my orders. There's a lot of stuff packed into the side menu. My main gripe with free prints is that they don't utilize their homepage. This week's video is gonna be a little different than the LA Fitness video. Instead of doing the mock-up and not recording it, I'm going to walk you all through my mock-up process so you can see what that looks like real time. Let me know what you think of this format compared to the LA Fitness one. I wanna try it out. It'll be a bit longer video, but I wanna see if people are interested in the actual mock-up process and my thoughts while I'm doing that. I didn't really have too much to say about free prints. Um, I just think that like I love their service. I love their, their functionality and their flows. I just want it to be a bit more accessible and a bit more functional from the homepage. Okay, so this is the Figma doc that I got set up earlier today. Um, up top we can see what I think are the main four screens of the Free Prints app. So here we have just the opening page, which you get when you open the app. And then the second one is a side menu with all of their other features listed. This shows every discount for all the services that they offer that I'm eligible for right now. And then this is the recent orders. So my idea is to make much more use of this real estate in the home page, because right now it's literally the full screen is an advertisement and um, one button to get your order started. I think it would be unique to include um, some of the functionalities here, like essentially my deals, maybe some promos for the other apps like on the home screen. I think it could be cool to have a promotion section on the front page, have these cells be a little smaller and just show off, you know, what new features are added. Like, oh, cool, you can do a photo keychain now. I can order it directly from the home page. Um, whereas having to, you know, go to the side menu and then view the deals from there. It just is less buried and more in your face. Um, and then the order section. I was coming here a lot on the last order that I placed and it takes a little bit to get there and this UI could look a little better. It looks very default right now, I think. So adding a little order section on the front page just to immediately look at. I'm thinking the layout up top will have like some type of action item like a button or some table cell that We'll get your order started right away because most likely that's what people are coming here and that's what they're you know showing on the front page right now then it'll be followed by maybe your past orders so you can look at your most recent orders and maybe reorder or just see the details the status like the shipping status and everything then underneath that we'll do i think the deals and then underneath that if we still have space i want to include these other apps we might run out of space but we could always make this scrollable and have those at the bottom so to start us off i just have a blank screen right now i added an app bar up top with their logo they went with the free prints thing here i think it looks a lot cleaner with their logo this is their app logo app icon i just think it looks better up here than the text like that. Then settings, I think should be accessible. This is a pretty similar setup to the one that I had in the last video, the LA Fitness video. Um, so if you didn't see that, go and take a look. I'm undecided what to do with this uh, left side bar button item. So I'm thinking maybe we go with an account link up here. Um, so you can check on, you know, your, your change, your shipping address, your account information, your contact info, stuff like that. And then settings could be have stuff like the frequently asked questions and and uh, there's stuff at the bottom down here, like it says contact us, write a review and settings. So all that could be lumped into here and the account info would be essentially just a link right here. Um, maybe that'll look clean. So what I'm gonna do for my icons is pop into SF Symbols app. This is a Symbols app from 
Apple. Um, I don't know if it comes pre-installed or not, or if you have to install it, I can't remember, but it's a big help. That's like all the icons that I used for uh, the LA Fitness app uh, came from this app. And in Xcode, these are the system icons. So it maps one to one. And so you know if an icon is in here, you can use an Xcode without importing an asset. So that'll lead to your account information. This will lead to settings. You have the nice logo here. So now let's just dive into what this homepage will look like. So like I said, I want to start off by having just a quick actionable um, get your order started. So this is where I am right now. I like how it looks, but I'm not sure if it's like convincing enough to get a user to press it right away to get an order started. It doesn't look inviting enough. Um, okay, this looks a bit more inviting. Just a splash of color on this side grabs your attention a bit more because it's a bit of a pop right here opposed to just blending in with the rest of this. So like, if I'm just looking at the screen as it is right now, my eyes, my eyes personally are drawn to this, this green section right here just because it stands out right now so i'm gonna try to remember that going forward like just using this green to grab the viewer's attention because it's still on brand they use that in their logo um yeah i'm happy with this because it the green grabs your attention you're looking at the icon it's the photos and then naturally your eyes go to the words i think and it says get your order started yeah, all right, I'm happy with this for now. Let's let's stick with this and we'll start on the other sections. Maybe we'll come back to it depending on how the other sections go, but I'm happy with how this is now. Okay, so next, I think in my order section, should we do deals or my orders? Deals might make more sense with a get order started because then if you're, you don't, you're not sure what you want to get started yet, you can look at the deals and be like, oh yeah, this one looks cool. Let's go with that. All right, so we'll go deals. And then if you're really looking for orders, it'll still be here and you'll be able to see it right away. But I think the main pipeline that we want to service, you know, is the one that makes money right now. And the one that will probably be the most useful for people. And most people are coming onto this app to order photos. I didn't want to take out all of the like promo photos. Um, because I think it does a good job of displaying, you know, catching your eye and displaying what the product looks like, which is important, I think. Um, but keep it in line with the get order started button. Let's uh, throw one more promo in there. We'll just go with two, I think. And then maybe we can have a like a see all like right here. Let's go with that now, because then it doesn't look like it's part of the header. It brings your eye so that you can see like, oh, there's more deals. Okay, so let's fill out this one. These are pictures from my phone of my beautiful girlfriend, Hannah. Um, I, my most recent order was photos uh, from one of her dance photo shoots to put up around my apartment. So that's why this is showing up like this. What do we think so far? I personally like it. Um, I like the get order started. That's very actionable. I like the deals. This looks pretty clean to me. Okay, let's keep going. So next we're going to do a my order section. Um, I'm thinking it'll look pretty similar to this just with different info. Uh, and we'll probably bring back the icon. Actually, it'll probably look closer to this, I think, because we don't have any photos for that. It would be cool to show photos from that print, but maybe people wouldn't want that if they're like private. I don't know. Although they're using my photos here, so it'd probably be fine, but just for since I don't have any photos on hand. Oh, it could be cool to show the number, like number of prints. Maybe we'll do that. And then the other information can be here. All right, let's think. What's the most important information that they're displaying here? Um, is it the order number? I don't think so, because that doesn't provide much value to the customer. So maybe that'll be the secondary label, just in case, just to give it an, a unique identifier. The most important information is the latest status update. So if this one, like if it's shipped, but it's not delivered yet, it, it would just say shipped. If it's already been delivered on a date, it would say delivered. Um, if it's in transit, it would say that, you know, just give a, a very clear status update of, okay, I ordered five prints, um, they're shipped on this date. Maybe on the secondary label, we do like the identifier and then ordered on, yeah, I think, 
I think we'll go with that and see how it looks. Maybe we'll end up switching it, but I think, I think that's what I'm gonna go with now. What do we think of that? I think I like it, because um, the most important information is shipped on June 7th. That's what you're kind of here to look for primarily. And then if you're not sure which order, like you have more, multiple orders, which I, I'd venture to guess you would do like one order at a time probably, for the most part. I'm not sure if there's any like heavy free prints users, but maybe, maybe that's more of a concern than I think it is. But anyway, either way, I think for the majority of users, the identifier and the ordered on date are the less, least important information right here. Because you can, you can identify it with the number of prints also. Um, and it just looks better with ship June 7th, I think. Now I'm going to duplicate this cell and just create another one just to showcase what it would look like. What do we think? I think that looks nice. It's consistent with the rest. Um, I'm just afraid maybe it's too boring by using just a table view here. I did like all the images they have. It makes sense being a photo company. I'm just bad at incorporating them within designs, if I'm honest. So that could be, it, this could be maybe a bit more entertaining. Like a thought I could have is maybe having like this promo thing here be a little blurred out and be the background, but maybe that'd be too busy. Uh, we're just going to go with it because the functionality is what I want it to be. I think it could just be visually improved a little bit, make it more visually interesting. But I think it's good enough for now. I think it's good enough to get the point across. Um, yeah. Okay. So last section will just be to showcase the other applications. I think this is going to be clean. Maybe this will tie it together. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I was struggling with that, that text color down here. I initially thought the green would work, um, but I didn't like the way it looked. I, I couldn't, I had trouble reading it. I, I don't think the contrast was enough. I think it works for the see all here because it's not that important what it says. Um, if you look at it, it grabs your attention. And you can read it fine. We don't really necessarily want it to stick out a lot. Blending in is fine in that case, but we want this to be legible. The blue looked okay, but then I, it was glaringly obvious that we just used the colors of the app icons here because they look so great and it looks so consistent. I really like this. I think it ties it all together. It brings um, some color to this page. It makes it pop a bit more. I think with that addition of the color there, it serves a purpose because it's showing off the other services that they have, right? They don't want you to just be limited to the off the services that they provide here because you know they want to promote their other things. Business is business no matter what it is. And they naturally have different branding colors. So you want to showcase that here without like none of the colors clash. Their palette is really clean. I like it. Um, and it, yeah, I think that provides the visually stimulating element that I thought was missing. I wish we could go a little smaller on these app icons and maybe have four here, but since they only have three listed, I guess yeah, it works, but I think four could look really clean here. That's a really nitpicky thing and it would obviously require another app. So maybe that's not realistic, but I guess my point in saying that is if they did create another app, it would pretty seamlessly fit in here. And I think you can make this layout work for any number of applications if they if they offer more services. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. I think like if I look at it, the branding is still there because you know, you have free prints here. Um, their logo is here. It uses the colors that they did. It has the same style of images that they were using. It provides information at a snapshot. When I open this app and I have a flow in mind, I think most of the, the key flows are covered here directly from the homepage. And that is the goal of the homepage for me in an iOS application. It's pretty similar philosophy from the last video in LA Fitness, where I just cover your customer's main flows with the least amount of friction as possible. Shout out Cody Co. again. Um, and I think that's done here because it, you know we wanna get the order started right away that's at the top, it grabs your attention, Boom, I'm in, I can order prints, I'm good. Uh, if I'm not sure what I want, I can get a snapshot of the deals, look at all of them, and then we'd have a list of all the ones just like they do here. But I think using similar tiles like this, maybe a bit bigger so you can see the whole image like this, so you can get a clear p idea of what that, um, of what that product looks like. Yeah, and then next you can see your past orders. When I came to the app after ordering my product, that is what I was looking for. And so if I could see it right away, 
Um, I just realized that if this was ordered on April 9th, delivery on April 10th is very fast. We'll go with April Fools. Happy April Fools. Sorry, I lost my train of thought with that. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I just noticed it and couldn't stop. Yeah, I guess that wraps this up. I, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Let me know what you think. Um, I'd be interested to see, you know, what people think about it being visually stimulating enough. Like, is this interesting enough to grab your attention to want to order their products? Does it give a good idea of the services that they provide? Is it useful, I guess, in the sense like when I open this screen, this isn't really providing much use for me. I think it might on like your first time opening the application. You're not sure really what it does. OK, so you explain free prints, no subscriptions, no commitments, just free prints. Got it. That can be inferred by the name, I think. And if you're downloading this app already, chances are you know about it or you read the description. And so you get the idea, right? So I don't think we need to advertise the app after the app download. And I feel like that's probably what we're doing here. So I wanted to condense these four flows into one main entry point. And I think that was accomplished. Get started is right here. The side menu is in the account and settings tabs. Um, your deals are in its own section right there, front and center. Your orders are right here. And then we promo the other services down at the bottom. I'm pretty happy with this, but again, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd be interested to see everybody else's opinion on this. Do you think it's inherently better than what it is? Like, does this work for you? Uh, what do you think? Or what would you have changed? Or what other features and flows would you have liked to see instead maybe? Um, yeah, I I'm really curious. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate all the love and support. If you have any suggestions for apps that you want me to review, please leave them in the comments. Let me know what you think about my mock-up for free prints. I'm really happy with how it came out, but I want to hear everybody else's thoughts so I can you know, do these videos a bit better. And if you want some more insight into my thought process or, or you wanna see anything else from me, please leave those suggestions. Please like and subscribe. It, it helps out my channel a ton. And yeah, just thank you so much. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.